Hi, uh, this is Rebecca Sackett. Um, I'm going to do a video now that's going to be the second part. Um, I did a video shortly that was how to get the signature uh, using the pen input and power apps and save it. And now I'm going to retrieve that signature and the information that correlates with it and put it into a final document. So um, I did decide I'm going to go ahead and do this as a separate flow. So um, if you want to watch the first one on how to save that signature, uh, this would be the second half. So uh, we have an app that's going to be uh, it's used for checking the equipment to make sure the quality is good. So they go through and answer all these questions. Uh, it stores the person's name. It stores the date that they did it. And we're going to put all of this into a final document. And then we just recently added a second piece where um, they're going to actually be signing off on it so they can see what information was answered and a department head um, or a manager can um, do the signature and submit it and it's going to save this. So um, what we're going to do is it's saving um, that signature as this ID number .jpg in a documents folder that I have that's just going to be a temporary holding place here um, and it's going to save it by that ID number um, and let me see I've got information I've got to pull in in addition to the signature um, which is going to pull it's actually going to save it as an attachment here so um, it's going to pull some information from this list and it's going to pull some information from the ID that this is stored for this list so my trigger is going to be when this status gets changed to signed which that is done in uh, power apps when that signature is captured that's going to change this um, the reason I wanted to do it separate um, is mostly because it's really easy to test. Uh, these right here already have um, signed as the status, so I could just make a slight change to it and trigger the um, flow instead of having to go all the way through into Power Apps to do it. Um, also, uh, I just find sometimes with this kind of stuff, it's just easier to do as a separate flow to troubleshoot, stuff like that. So. You could go either way, but I'm going to do it as a separate. So um, there's three different lists that I'm going to look at for this. One is going to be this one um, because I need this ID number uh, and it's also the trigger off of the status. The other is going to be this list here that's called front sheet. It's going to bring in the customer name and the job name. And then the last list is this one I'm calling list details um, and it could vary. So if it's fabrication, this will be the fabrication list. And if it's electrical, it'll be off the electrical uh, list. So let's go ahead and do the, I'll do the fabrication first. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start a new flow. And it's going to be, uh, the trigger is going to be whenever an item is modified. It says created or modified, which is why we're going to look at the status. So when it's created, the status is signature. Um, when it actually gets signed, then the status gets changed to signed. So that's what I'm going to be looking for is the status of signed. Um, because I'm attaching back to uh, this item on the SharePoint list, I will be modifying it with this flow which means that I also need to update the status to something besides, besides signed or it's going to run again. So um, I'll just keep that in mind. So um, the first one that we're looking for is going to be that uh, final docs list. So this is going to be triggered by final docs modified. And then we're going to have a condition in here. So our condition is going to be if the status is signed. And because we're doing fab only, we're going to also look for if the description is fabrication. Okay. So um, if no, then it's not going to do anything, so we're not going to mess with that. But if yes, then we're going to have to start retrieving some of these items that go with it. So um, we already have the final docs because that's the trigger. So we're going to go ahead and um, 
get the other ones. Uh, let's see, the only thing we need, we need several things actually from that final dog. So let's do a quick compose. I'm put some blank real quick so I can name this. This is going to be signature name. All right, so because I named the signature as the ID of that final docs, I know exactly what the signature name is going to be, which is what's going to help me retrieve that specific signature and not another one that may be in the folder. So, um, I'm going to say that my signature is, let's see if I should do, do uh, concat, let's do that just to be safe, ID, then also dot JPEG. Okay, so that's going to give us what that file name is going to be for the signature. Um, now we're going to, we need to go ahead and get the items for each of those lists. Um, because we stored that number, the actual ID number, we can use get item instead of items with an S. So let's go ahead and get both of those lists. So we don't want this one, we want this one. And it's going to be need the front sheet. Oh, it's going to make me compose that too. That's all right. Do another compose. So this one is going to be variable front sheet ID. Should be stored as a number, so I don't think I have to tell it to make it a value. So if it does give us problems, we can change that. It's easy to modify. Um, which one? French sheet, French sheet, French sheet. French sheet ID. Okay, and one more. And this one we're going to call. List ID, which this case will be the fabrication ID, but we're just going to say that. And that one is going to be, here we go, list details ID. Okay, so now we can do get item. And this is going to be the details that are going on this final document. So um, first one we're going to do is going to be front sheet. This is that. I'm going to name this get front sheet item. And then we also need to get that fabrication list because that's the actual details of the question. The front sheet's going to be like customer name. Uh, job name, that kind of information. And this will be the list ID here. All right. So we got both of those. Uh, all right. I guess I'll go ahead and get the signature too. What that's all right. So this part is a little tricky, but not really. So get file. Maybe get file contents. Let me think. It's definitely gonna be SharePoint. It's not file properties. I think it's this one. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna select my SharePoint site. All right, so this part here, um, we will use the ID name, but we also need the rest of it. So if you do, 
if you go to the documents folder where you know it is, like this one, I know it's this. All right, so I'm going to say, oh, let's just click on one. Once you do this the first time, you won't have to um, do all that. So I want this part right here, this um, front, and then I know what this is going to be right here. This is going to be my output. I don't know why, but whenever you use those variables, the search part doesn't work very good. Signature name right here that we already named it. Okay, now when I go to try to change in some of this, sometimes it gives you trouble. Let's see. Okay, uh, we will see if this is going to work, but I'm 99% sure that it is not going to work with these slashes in here. <clears throat> this needs to be replaced with a percent %2F. Um, that's how it's going to carry. So uh, since I've done this before, I'm just going to say I know that that's going to have to be changed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. So every time that there's a little slash, it needs to be replaced with that. Every time that there's a space, which is good to just not have, but you're going to want to replace that with a percent to zero. Um, so without having to put a fake one here, another way that you can see that <clears throat> is if I go to this folder, this right here is going to be, um, well, let me think, where's it at? That's not really what I want. This. This right here, after my the name of my uh, SharePoint site, this is exactly the same thing as basically I just typed in. So you could also just go here and copy and paste that without having to do that. So um, so this is going to get my signature. Let me go ahead and rename that. Get signature. All right. Now we've got <clears throat> all of our information here. So we're going to go ahead and do. I use the uh, populate word template. I've already created that. Uh, I've done a video before on how to, but I will show you real quick the basics on it. So I have a folder here that I hold that's my templates, um, and I have all my little checklist here. Um, and if you open it in Word, I'll show you how you know which ones get replaced. So let's see. So everywhere that you see, um, like you want to replace a field, this, you would just basically highlight, like if I wanted this to be a field that gets replaced in flow, I would highlight it and go under the developer tab and I click this plain text content and it gives it that little box thing. So you can see when I click in design mode, all of these are ones that I've done. Um, the other part is for the signature, you would just click like wherever you want it to go and then you just do this right here where you do the plain content control and it'll put it in there and then you'll, you know, size it, whatever you think is practical. Uh, you want it similar to how your input is going to be in the app. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, and then I just save this somewhere where I can retrieve it, uh, preferably on SharePoint. All right, so um, hopefully I don't think I've changed anything that matters. Okay, so now we're going to populate the Word document. <clears throat> I have a lot of fields um, to do, so uh, hopefully this won't take forever. We're going to go ahead and set this. It's on my SharePoint site. And it is in my template well, documents, and then we'll find it here in the templates. And we're doing fab right now. And then it's going to expand that and show these are all the fields that I have over there. 
Uh, the one that's going to pull through funny here with these numbers, this is where that signature is. So what this is going to be is this file content of that get signature. The rest of these should pull from my, um, my these get items from the SharePoint list. Um, I try to name these as close as possible. So this name here that you're seeing, which is it's just like a hint text, is what I have um, it called in the Word document, which is also this. I tried to go ahead and make those fields named similar uh, as close to possible as what the SharePoint name is so that I can easily find it. So uh, that way you can just search. So I know what this one is, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay, uh, I save these dates for last um, because I was going to show real quick that a lot of times if I were to just click on this date here, um, it's going to pull it through on my document with the year-month-date, uh, which is not what I want. I want it formatted with my month, uh, month date, year, um, it's just for our area. So um, the way that you're going to do that is you're going to do um, format, date and time. And then open and then click on it. So I'm going to do search now. You have to actually scroll. And then um, when you find it, you'll. Oh, wrong one. Dang it. D3. Okay. Uh, okay. And then. After the little bracket, but before the end of the parentheses, I'm going to do a comma, single quote, month, month, slash, day, day, slash, year, 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 more. And then save it. And then the other one, uh, I still need to do that one too, is going to be this sign date. I want it to be today's date. So I'm going to do basically the same thing, but just a little different. So I'm going to do format, date, and time, open. And then UTC now, and then comma, single quote, month, month, slash, day, day, slash, one, two, three, four, year. All right, so I'm going to do the other ones real quick. So I've got all my fields filled in for this. So now um, I'm going to create a document of this. So this is just kind of filling it in, but I still have to do something with it. So now um, because I'm triggering this off of a SharePoint action and I'm the one creating the flow, I can use OneDrive here and it not be an issue. So uh, I am, I like their um, convert for PDF. So I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna create a um, file and it's just temporarily holding it there. Um, I have a folder in my OneDrive called temporary and that is where I hold stuff like this. Stuff that's just from flow and it's just going to sit there for a second. Um, okay, I'm going to give the file name as application check and then I'll move that serial number off of it. Oh, I did wrong. It's the same on all of these, but I guess we'll just pick one. Um, and then I have to do a dot .docx here. Um, and then the file content is going to be this Word one. We're just going to click on that. So this is going to create 
our dock, and then we're going to convert it. And this will be OneDrive again too. So uh, convert file, and we're going to do the ID of that Word doc. So this one is going to convert PDF. Okay, so now we have our document and we need to do something with it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to attach it back to this final doc SharePoint list. So I'm going to do add attachment. Um, whenever you use this add attachment, however it may be, if you're doing it for um, stuff that you're archiving, uh, for this, whatever, you always want to put a little bit of a delay in there before you delete it because sometimes it takes a little while depending on your system. So we're going to add to this final docs. The ID can be our trigger. This one. Uh, the file name can be what we already gave it, and the file content will be this PDF we already gave it to. And then, you know what, after I add that, then that's going to modify it. So actually before we add it, we need to update the status on it. So we're going to insert right here above to update item. because I don't want this to trigger the flow to run again. So I'm going to update the status to something else and then attach it. So update final docs, one that was modified. It's going to be a title. Uh, none of these I'm going to change except for this. The status here, I'm going to change it to attached. And change this update final doc, so I don't remember what it is. Alright, so we're going to update the status, then attach it back. Um, and then we're going to put a little delay in, and then we can delete it out of our temporary file and delete the signature too. You can play with the delay. I usually do two minutes to be safe. You could do one though. And then we're going to delete the signature which is on the SharePoint uh, let's see we should be able to select from that signature no 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 here we go this one get the signature that's the one we're gonna delete Rename this to delete signature. And then now we're going to delete a file from OneDrive, which is going to be that document out of my temporary folder. test I'm gonna go ahead and run one all the way through um, so I have one on my list here that's fabrication and I already did a signature so I'm just gonna slightly modify it there's a column here I'm not using I need to actually delete uh, this one's 29 so if the flow had worked this one's here so it should put that <laughs> for the signature on the document all right Let's go ahead and trigger it. So, um, let's save that. Let's back out. I always hit save extra time just to be safe. And no matter how many, if I just hit it, it's still going to ask, are you sure? And then I still question, did I? Did I save it? I'm not sure. All right. 
So let's go ahead and trigger this. Like I said, I'm just gonna put some in here because I'm fixing to delete that column. And go over here and see if it's running. Uh, we're stuck at the delay, which is just these last parts of the delete, so that means it should at least be attached. So let's go look and see. Go ahead and hit a quick refresh, and it should have been on this item. All right, so we've got it. It's called Fabrication Check. It's got the um, serial number for the part of the document, and it's a PDF, so that's a good sign. And yes, it pulled in all our information that we need. Uh, dates all look like they're formatted correctly. My signature, if you want to call it that, is there. Uh, we've got today's date and everything is done. So um, just make sure that this flow finishes running and doesn't run a second time so that we didn't miss anything. Uh, would we give it two minutes? Okay, so it was successfully done. Oh, dang. That other one when I did the test took forever. Um, so it was done successfully. Um, then it um, is attached here like we wanted. Uh, the last part is you want to make sure that it's deleting the um, documents that you told it to. So that signature should not be here anymore. Mm. No, it did not do that part. Oh, let's see what this was. Did not delete the signature good. All right, I'll look at that and see. Okay, so I know what that one is. Um, this right here, that clicking like I did, yeah, that doesn't work. That's looking for file content. This is asking for a file identifier. So what we actually need is this, all this right here. So I'm gonna copy that and I can use that output again. Scroll, 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 scroll. Oh, this. So, um, I'm going to save that. And let me think. To retest it, the signature didn't delete, so that's still there. Um, but it already has an attachment, and that's going to cause a problem. So, and the status has been changed too. So, let's go ahead. And we're going to delete this, which is going to make the flow run, but it's not, it's going to stop at the conditions because the status is attached. And then we're going to change this, oh, if I can get it to work right, this status here to signed. Oh my lord. To signed. And that should run it and reattach it to make sure that that change I got was right. I'm pretty sure I already had safe. So it should run twice, once fast, and then once uh, where it takes longer. Okay, now the signature is gone. So um, we're good. That uh, attached it back. It updated the status here where it shows attached and the document is attached with that signature in there. So uh, anyway, that's how you can take all that information from 
a signature from one place and information from two different SharePoint lists and put it all into one document. So uh, I hope that this helps someone. All right. Thank you.